Okay, and now we're going to talk about how it works, how ITO works. And I'm going to read the theory, how it works. Since the data produced during the interaction of humans and devices, it could be phones, sensors, computers, elevators, thermostates, and so forth, uh, to the CPS to be processed through criteria uh, segmentation. We already talked about that in another in order video. And then receives it back and projects it into your phone or preferred device. Now, I'm talking about personal use devices. I'm not talking about the macro devices because uh, if we're talking, for example, how a Tesla car works, I mean, the Tesla car is nothing, nothing like your phone. I mean, your phone is nothing related to all the systems that work in the Tesla car. So it's going to be a more complex system. So basically what I said at the beginning and the first video related to ITO, uh, IOT, sorry, it's simple. You have access to your, to your device. You put some information. Ever since you turn it on, the data is going to be sent to the cloud and they're going to be studying you. In this house, in this region, this person goes to the fridge at 6 a.m. in the morning, 9, 6, 6 p.m. in the afternoon, and 9 p.m. in the night, and then 4 a.m. in the morning goes there, opens the fridge for about one or two minutes, takes it, because, because every time you put something in the fridge, it's, going to, it's, it's also going to analyze what you put there. It, because uh, of um, something like uh, biometrics, if it's an apple, if it's an orange. So if you take an orange at 4 a.m. in the morning, and before having access to the orange, you think about what am I going to eat? The machine knows that what kind of appetite do you have at that time to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and stare there to all of the food that you have in the fridge for four minutes or two minutes and then grab an orange and then close it. All of that data, all of that data, ever since you have access or, or, or get in contact with the device, all of that data is going to get up there to the cloud and it's going to be transformed in big data. So remember how it works all the time because nowadays, as I said in another video, we are all the time in contact with, with IoT. See you in the next video.